Hey everyone, it's time for another Pick, Pick of the Week! week. Woohoo! Uh, it's the end of September. Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting chilly. We're getting, the door is closed. The door is closed. I have the heat on. <laughs> Yeah, you're out of your mind. No need to heat yet. But the door is down. I have it open for like the first couple hours of the day, but then eventually I just get cold. You gotta close it, you know? Yeah, like, but if you come by, we are open. Just the door is closed. Because we've had a few people just be like, oh, the door is closed and just keep walking. Oh, no. It's like, ah, no, come on, open doors. That's what they're for. Yeah, we do have that open sign. But there's a lot going on in the window these days. So I get <laughs> yeah. it. I get it. Um, what's all the news? Saturday is local comic store day. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's not much happening, but we did get a little giveaway from HarperCollins. Um, it's, we got two books in this series. The first, Cat in Space Ate Pizza. It's kind of like a, I guess like it's for middle grade, but really fun artwork. It's supposed to be a bestseller. I mean, with a title like that, how could it not be? Uh, we're going to have some erasers, so we're going to be collecting um, names, numbers uh, with purchase, and then you can, uh, we'll be doing a draw for this great book and another one at the end of the day. Yay, comic store day! Um, I was hoping there would be more stuff, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's this weird thing where, like, they a lot of places will do covers, but then they won't come out for, like, two weeks later. So I'm right. just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it goes. I didn't even see any covers this year. I didn't see any either, but we might just know. have missed them. Uh, you want to shut up Briar Patch? Yeah! So this is really funny. Um, in the May-June issue, we were featured! Uh, I do usually read Briar Patch, you know, when they come out, and then I was, like, a little bit behind, and I... I knew it was coming, but I didn't realize it was like happening. But anyway, I am a Mosa Stainer profile. And look, it's in the store. Um, they knew I was a stainer. I think the editor actually came here and was like excited to see Briar Patch on the stands. Um, and then realized I was a stainer and asked to profile me, which is really nice. I guess asking like why we support Briar Patch at our store. And uh, why we support I, why I support Briar Patch in general? I'm just I think Briar Patch is like the best long form journalism happening right now. They come out with a magazine every two months, and yeah, long articles that really like get in depth on a lot of like issues that maybe well the mainstream media doesn't cover. Um, they always do like fun art too. There's this issue also has uh, information about like people organizations fighting wage theft. Um, and this picture actually is in St. John's. Um, and they do an interview with Mark Nichols from the Workers Action Network, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, I just think they're the bomb. And so yeah, I'm a monthly donor. And we carry copies and you can pick one up and check it out and, you know, be informed, but like in an in-depth way. It's not clickbait. It's like real journalism. Imagine. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. That is exciting. I took that picture. I'm, yeah. I'm a published photographer now. <laughs> Put that on the resume. <laughs> yeah. You want to get to the pics? Yeah, what do you got? I got uh, kind of an interesting one. This is the Manchurian. Uh, this is a part of this whole kind of um, experiment called the Horizon. I think it's called the Horizon Experiment. But basically what it is is that they're going to be a series of one shots. This is the first one. And they're each going to be featuring uh, like a genre or a trope but it's going to be told from the perspective of uh, somebody of a different culture than what would normally be in that. So this is kind of like, every time, every time I start talking about my book, people start calling for it. But uh, this one is kind of like a Chinese James Bond. And I had to pick it up because it's by my boy, uh, Porn Sack Pichot. I'm, I'm always going to butcher that, I'm sorry. I'll meet you someday and ask you how to pronounce it. But uh, he wrote The Good Asian, Infidel. Good Asian's one of my favorite comics of all time. So, you know, I'm down. And this one is really special, too, because... We've got the Dotsons on artwork. Terry and Rachel Dotson doing the artwork. They are, uh, they are royalty in the comic book world. But basically, this is kind of like a different kind of espionage thing. Because the whole conceit of the Horizon Experiment is to be like... Like, people... It, it kind of came up with, like, uh, at the start of this, he talks about how 
people wanted Idris Elba for James Bond, and it was like, it wouldn't change anything. And he was like, no, like, if you did cast a minority in, a like, a role like that, it would change how the story's told because they'd be coming at it from a different perspective. So that's kind of, like, the conceit of this. It's, like, to show how it would change. But, yeah, this is, this is basically just Chinese James Bond. It's really good, and it goes into, like, how, like, the Chinese use good people as informants as opposed to, like, having, like, a James Bond. So the Manchurians are, are, like, the people that look over the spies for the Chinese. It's really, really interesting. A lot of stuff I didn't know about, like, espionage and stuff like that. Beautiful artwork by the Dotsons, as always. They are, as I said, royalty in the comic book industry. So, yeah, definitely check this one out. Really cool. Just a one-shot. Maybe we'll get more if it sells well. Fingers crossed, because this was an excellent comic. The Manchurian. What do you got? Awesome. My pick of the week from the ashes a new beginning dazzler um i've been trying to get into x-men for a while and this is i feel like a more accessible way to get into it there's been all this stuff happening in like space and it, when you open it there's like this one long page about like all the backstory uh this just has a little little backstory um folks don't know dazzler is like the pop star of the mutant world now she has her own comic um, and it's kind of about her, like, starting this tour, and there's all this, like, of course, like, mutant hate, and she's kind of being told to, like, suppress her mutinous, so she can be, she's not as much of, like, a target, and maybe she'll be more liked by the humans, um, but then this, like, fight breaks out, and she has to show her mutant powers, and uh it finishes with this song which they keep kind of saying like out and proud out and proud and it you know very clearly has uh i would say implications for like parallels with the real world and especially i would say like the hate that that queer people are feeling uh that trans people are experiencing um and being told well like why can't you just like fit in and um yeah i feel like the x-men have always kind of been about um, that acceptance and, and pushing back against being told to just like be in the closet and uh, lot, yeah, resisting that narrative. Uh, and so this definitely uh, has that story. And it even, they, even every issue, they like writing original music for it, which is very cool, uh, which you can listen to on Boom Bap, which I've never heard of, but I'll certainly check it out. And the song is actually called Out and Proud, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's got some really great spreads. It's got some characters that you'll definitely recognize, uh, but really great entryway into the X-Men universe. So check it out, Dazzler. And a cover by the Dotsons. <laughs> oh, no way, it's a gorgeous cover. Yeah, like they, are, they are like royalty in comic books. They're just so good. Is that everything? Is that we got it all? I think so. Guess we'll thanks all for tuning in. Yeah, I know. We, we gotta be saying we we got it week to week. We're we're so back we're on back. it. We're back. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Peace right. guys. Have a good one.